The Battle of Chunuk Bear in 1915 involved a New Zealand-led assault on the Turkish-held strategic high ground which commanded the whole of the Anzac sector. The ferocious fighting for the summit, which almost wiped out entire battalions of men, haunted survivors for the rest of their lives. The Gallipoli campaign of the First World War was designed by Britain's First Lord of the Admiralty, Winston Churchill, to capture the Dardanelles Strait. The strategy, however, to open a supply route through the Bosphorus to ally Russia's Black Sea ports had bogged down into a stalemate. Since the invasion of the peninsula in April 1915, German ally, Turkey, had resolutely defended their homeland from British and French forces for five months in a determined arm wrestle. A plan for a breakout of the bridgehead known as the August Offensive was devised by the British. It involved an opening of a new front with British troops at Suvla Bay to the north of the Anzac sector with engagements by mainly Australian troops at the Lone Pine and Neck positions in support of a New Zealand attack on the summit of the strategic Chunuk Bear. As the battle raged at Lone Pine, on the right flank of the Anzac sector, on the left flank, the New Zealanders swung into action. Their objective, the peak of the Surrey Bear range, Chunuk Bear. At 8.30pm on the 6th of August, a covering force led by 2,000 men of the dismounted New Zealand Mounted Rifles crept silently from the beach into a no-man's land of steep ridges and gullies. Within an hour, Turkish outposts began to fall and by midnight, the New Zealanders controlled the foothills below Chunuk Bear. Within a matter of hours, the New Zealand Infantry Brigade effectively tripled the size of the Anzac bridgehead. The official Australian war correspondent, C.E.W. Bean, said of the New Zealanders that by this magnificent feat of arms, the brilliance of which was never surpassed, if indeed equalled, during the campaign, almost the entire Turkish defence north of Anzac was for the moment swept aside. However, within sight of a virtually undefended Chunuk Bear, and it being imperative that it be captured before dawn, momentum was lost when Colonel Francis Johnston called a halt to the advance because Australian and British reinforcements expected to approach from the rear were delayed as they scaled ravines below in the dark. Plans for the New Zealanders to capture the summit and sweep down to meet up with the Australian light horse advancing from the neck fell apart as the light horsemen were massacred in the early dawn light. During the delay, the estimated 20 Turks who defended the position had been bolstered to around 500. Colonel Johnston had decided to postpone the operation until nightfall, but was overruled by General Alexander Godley. The attack would occur in broad daylight. Hundreds of casualties resulted and plans were revised. Early on the morning of the 8th of August, a heavy naval bombardment hit the Turkish defences. Supported by covering machine gun fire, the Wellington Regiment followed by the Gloucestershire Regiment, advanced up the slope and captured the peak, the waters of the Dardanelles clearly seen from the summit. The battle raged all day as the Turks attempted to wrestle the position back in desperate counter-attacks. The inspirational commanding officer of the Wellingtons, Lieutenant Colonel William Malone, was killed by friendly artillery fire during the fighting. The bodies of New Zealanders, British and Turks started piling up on Trunuk Bear, but by the evening of the 8th, the British Allies held the heights. 
The scenes of carnage would haunt the survivors of Chonuk Bear for the rest of their lives. If I were say to uh, ask to give a, a description of the colour of the earth on, on Chonuk Bear on, say, the 9th or the 10th of uh, uh, August, I would say it was a, a dull browny red, and that was blood. <laughs> Just dry blood. Inexperienced British troops recently landed at Suvla Bay were exposed to a baptism of fire, deployed as reinforcements for the exhausted and depleted New Zealand and British defenders of the Chunuk Bear position. But on the morning of the 10th of August, 1915, a Turkish counter-attack led by the brilliant Colonel Mustafa Kemal overwhelmed the reinforcements. Chunuk Bear was lost. Sweeping down from the recaptured crest, the Turks attempted to rout the British troops off the mountain but were held off at a position called the Pinnacle by New Zealand machine gunners at the apex. The battle for Anzac would again ground down to a stalemate. 